Jacob's busy like a little bee, cleaning, dusting, vacuuming, while Emily, oh, Emily, <laughs> completely immersed in her bowl of popcorn. What is she watching that's so interesting she never even bats an eye? Unbelievable. Get to work, you couch potato. Gotta clean up your own mess. And what a mess it is. Got a bit carried away with the salt, eh? Well, no need to get all salty. Chop, chop to work, girl. Wait, what are you doing with those slippers? Gotta be one of her crazy ideas again. Take a mop and remove the pad. Cut it to fit the shape of a slipper. Add some Velcro tape on the bottom and join the two pieces together. Do the same with the other shoe. Done. Who said mopping the floor is a boring chore? Take those. Take them, you little grump. You're gonna love this. Just gotta get off the couch and get your hips moving. Yes, Emily is serious. Mopping and dancing at the same time. Let's do it. Last but not least, get your cleaning playlist going. Ha, now you get it. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Whee! Oh, you little precious fluff ball. What have you done? Madison was away for no more than five minutes. Wow, that's an impressive amount of destruction for a tiny guy like you. Did the towels survive this vicious encounter? <laughs> Nothing survives a row of sharp little teeth. So your towel got a bit torn. Cut it in the shape of the letter H. Pull the top of it and add a bit of Velcro tape near the edge. You can even attach one full stripe if you're feeling lazy. Now attach the other part of the Velcro to the bottom. Straighten it out again and wrap it around your mop. If you're unsure if it fits tightly, you can always use the mop as a template first. Okay, Madison, whatever happened, happened. Let's not cry over spilt milk and paint and cosmetics and flour and more paint. Whatever, never mind, you finished already. All good as new, phew, come here boy. Madison's not mad at all, you little fluff. Who's mommy's little helper? What are you having for breakfast today, Emma? What? Are you on a diet? Because such a sight is a definite hunger killer. Yuck, all sticky. Wait, you're not gonna clean it up with a sandwich, Oh, that's right, the plastic wrap. That might be an idea. First, you have to clean that shelf up. No excuses. Then just wrap it up in a piece of cling film. And that's it. Yes, seriously. Fancy a jam sandwich, Emma. It looks like the jar leaked a bit on its side. Not a problem. Just pull on that cellophane and there you go. Clean as ever. Clever thinking. All that mess neatly wrapped, ready to be thrown in the trash. You've earned yourself a tomato salad. Hey Jess, have you finished drinking your handmade carrot juice already? Well, nothing else left than to clean the bottle up. Your hand won't fit through the neck, will it? Wow, cleaning bottles can be so troublesome. Uh, come on, wash. Darn it, next time she's drinking juice from a soup bowl. If there was something that can hold onto the sponge from the inside, Cut a sponge in two, just be careful not to cut your fingers. Take it easy. Make a small incision where you want to hide the magnet and glue it all up. Do the same with the other half. Let's just check if it works. Yes! Prepare your sponges just as you normally would. Soap, water, you know the deal. Put one inside the bottle and add the other on the outside. Now you're washing both sides at the same time. If you don't have any magnets at home, you can easily find them in any arts and crafts store or online for just a few pennies. Finish off with a quick rinse and you can already see the difference. So Jess, how do magnets work anyway? Vacuuming that popcorn again, Emily? Well, your vacuum won't reach under that couch with that carpet brush for sure. What was that? 
Money? Well, that's a goner now. What else is lying under there? Old socks? Ooh, there's also something shiny. Maybe if you could just reach. Forget it. At least you took that sock out because getting that sucked in would be a lot of trouble. Or here's an easy fix. Just use it as a vacuum filter. Simply attach the sock to the hose and secure with a piece of rubber. Whatever you need to grab from a tough to reach area, rest assured it won't end up in the vacuum's dirty belly anymore. Wow, Emily, that ring is beautiful. Good thing you finally found it. All right, Jacob, there comes a time in a man's life when he can no longer avoid washing the dishes. Sore luck. Just when you finally try to make your kitchen a cleaner place and you're out of washing liquid. Oh, great. Good thing she told you in advance. Well, no use crying over lack of soap. Maybe there's at least a little left on the sponge. <sighs> Not even a single drop. It seems like all the forces of nature are against you, Jacob. What can you possibly use instead? Hand soap? Why not? Cut a hole on the side of a sponge using a sharp knife. Now, simply push the leftover soap inside. Rinse with water, rub, and squish a little bit. Good enough? Then let's get to work. The cool thing about this hack is, you save time because you don't have to pour new drops of washing liquid every other minute. See? Took only a little while to get the whole sink empty. Wow, Jacob, you might be having a serious plumbing problem. That bathroom totally doesn't smell like teen spirit. Take a bowl and put in one cup of baking soda. Add a quarter of a cup of citric acid. Add one tablespoon of dish soap. Stir it up nicely until you get a solid mass. Then take a little in your hand and put it in a silicon ice mold. Press it firmly to get rid of all the excess air. Now just let it dry. Ah, seems like now you're prepared to fight the danger with the most effective weapon of all self-made toilet cubes. Steady? Okay, go! Now just wait for the soda to react with citric acid and flush. Your job here is done. All in a day's work for. The handyman. Oh, what's that? Nothing clean on the shelves? Well then, Emma, gotta get to work. Don't be so grumpy. Everybody's gotta do it sometimes. It's one of the disadvantages of being an adult and having responsibility so you can have fun. The quicker you get to it, the quicker you'll finish. However, do you think we could make doing the dishes a little bit more enjoyable? Take some thick rubber gloves and a sponge. Remove the top layer of the sponge and cut it like this. Now just a bit of glue and be careful not to burn through the rubber. The green part goes on the fingers, while the yellow is the palm. Almost done, just add the palm. Do the same with the opposite hand. Those are some serious bear paws about to get busy. Rah rah, hiya! Teenage spongy ninja dishes. Wash everything as you would normally do, yet twice as fast with our cool washing gloves. And in a blink of an eye, it's ready. Good work! Hey Crafty Pandas! I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Yes, yes, yes. Time to get that bike back on track. The wheels need a bit of adjusting. Oh, Jacob, you left your tools on a wet cloth and now they're all rusty. Fixing your bike with this will be no fun at all. If your metal tools get a bit rusty, take a high glass or a vase and pour a whole bottle of beer inside. No, it's not for drinking. Put the rusty tools into the beer and leave overnight. You still can't drink it, especially now. In the morning, your tools will be shiny and new and the rust gone as if it were never there. 
Now that's proper gear to adjust those knobs. Just look at the difference before and after. With such a sparkly, shiny toolbox, you can totally repair your precious two-wheeler. Om and bow. Okay, that's enough meditation for today. Let's finish our stretching session with a nice hot cup of herbal tea. It smells great. Jessica, the kettle's already boiling. Wait a minute, that doesn't look right. When was the last time you decalced your kettle, Jess? It looks like rotten milk in there. Ugh. Good thing we can treat it with a fast and natural remedy. If your kettle is full of lime scale, pour in a glass of vinegar. Even the cheapest one will do. Fill the rest of the kettle with water all the way up to the maximum and boil. If you remember from chemistry classes, vinegar dissolves calcium, the main ingredient of that nasty lime scale. Just pour out and rinse. Looking good already. But let's try it one more time, just to make sure there is no residue. Perfect, your herbal tea is now crystal clear, just like Jessica's tranquil thoughts. Looking for some sugar with your coffee? But is this sugar or salt? Print out the labels in your favorite font, then cover the print with clear tape. Be sure that the tape sticks even and there are no air bubbles. Now cut the labels out one by one, leaving some space around the print. Soak it in water until the paper is completely wet. Rub the paper off very gently. We're almost done. All you need now is to glue the new transparent labels on your kitchen boxes. From now on, no more kitchen nightmares. Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoyed these organization hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.